All right, so we have a cylinder of depth H with a cross-sectional area of A. It's full of water, and the water density is rho. Now, this is slightly ambiguous, but I'm going to assume that rho has units something like pounds per cubic foot. That means that rho already has units of force in it, and units of force are what we need to find the work done. If instead rho had units like kilograms per meter cubed or something like that, well, that is a mass, and to get a force, we'd actually have to multiply by g, the acceleration of gravity. But I'm going to assume that that's not the case in this problem, we're going to compute the work needed to pump all of the water to the top. So there are lots of ways to set this problem up. Typically what you'll see people do is slice this water into little sections. And the volume of this little section right here is just going to be the cross-sectional area, which is A, times the width of that, which we're just going to say is some infinitesimally small amount, dy. Now if that's the volume of that little slice, then the weight of that little slice is going to be rho times A times dy. And if that's the weight of that little slice of water, then how much work does it take to get that little slice of water to the top. Well, it's just going to be rho times A times dy. That's just the weight of that water times the distance that you need to lift it. Well, the distance from this little slice of water to the top depends on where this little slice of water is between a height of 0 and a height of h. So we might define the height of this little slice of water as y, where y goes from 0 to h. And if we define things that way, then the work needed to take this little tiny slice of water up to the top of the tank is going to be the height of the tank, whatever that height is, minus the y value, the height where the water is at that moment, times rho, times a, times dy, and the total work needed to remove all of the water is going to be the sum or the integral of all of those little bits of work needed to take each one of those little slices of water out of the tank. And since the height of the water in this tank can be anywhere from y equals 0 to y equals h, we'll add all of those little pieces of work up between y equals 0 and y equals h, and we'll have the total work needed to remove all of the water from that tank. So rho is a constant. A, the cross-sectional area is a constant, so we can pull those out of the integral. And now we should hopefully have a pretty simple integral to complete. The integral of h with respect to y is just h times y. The integral of y with respect to y is 1 half y squared. We're going to evaluate that from 0 to h. Notice that plugging in 0 gives us 0 for both terms. So we end up with, in the parentheses, h squared minus 1 half h squared. That is just going to be 1 half h squared times rho times the cross-sectional area a. And that is going to be the final answer for the amount of work needed to remove all of that water from this tank. Again, I did make the assumption up here that the units of density were going to have a force unit in them, like pounds. If that assumption wasn't correct, the final answer would just have a factor of gravity multiplied in. All right, I hope that that helps you out. I'll see you all in the next one.